guys, so today I have a little bit of a haul video for you. I just returned from Arizona. Um, I was there visiting my grandparents on a short trip, and I got the chance to do a little bit of shopping in the meantime. So this is mainly Revlon and MAC products, um, and I'm just going to go ahead and get started first with the Revlon. Um, I'm sure some of you heard me talking about the new Revlon Spring Collection. Um, they have some new limited edition um, nail polishes and super lustrous lip glosses. And you might have seen in my April Favorites video, I had the um, Lilac Pastel Super Lustrous Lip Gloss on. And I said this is one of my favorites. I don't usually wear purple, but I just was something that I wanted to try. And then I also picked up the um, Peach, Peach Petal which looks like this. This is like more of a nudie pink and this is lilac pastel. So I had these two already. Um, and then I watched someone's video, I forgot whose, and I saw that they were wearing the um, coral reef, which looks like this. And I was like, oh my gosh, it looks so good on her. And so it kind of convinced me that I needed to try it out. And it was buy one, get one 50% off. And then the sales associate gave me like a few other coupons. So I was like, okay, this is great. So, um, I was lucky in that I saw that they had minted the new minted and then also the lilac pastel. Um, the lilac pastel is sort of supposed to match the, um, lilac pastel lip gloss. But anyway, minted, I'd been looking for everywhere. This is a super popular color. And, um, I finally found it. I think they only have, like, two of these in every Walgreens or CVS at a time. They're super limited edition. And so I've been, like, kind of searching. And finally I found it. So I picked up the minted and I picked up the lilac pastel. Um, and then since it was buy one, get one free and I wanted to get the coral reef, I also picked up Pink Whisper, and this is not one of the limited editions. These three are all limited edition, and so are these. So these glosses are all part of the limited edition collection. I can show you these better. Okay, so these are all limited edition. The Pink Whisper is not limited edition, but I can swatch the Coral Reef for you guys. That's the Coral Reef. Okay, this is the Peach Pastel is right above that. It's kind of hard to see. It's sort of like a very nudie pink. But if you can see that, right above the Coral Reef is the Peach Pastel, or Peach whatever it is. Totally forgetting. And then right above that is the Lilac Pastel. So those are the swatches. Um, and then next I went to the Mac store and picked up a few things, not a lot, um, just a few things I'd been kind of wondering about online, like debating, purchasing, um, and I finally just kind of took the plunge. Um, I got the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. This is just a natural color that you can use all over your lids. I used it today. Um, what I really like about this color is that you can use it under any kind of color eyeshadow and it will just match your natural um, eyelid color. I had Rubenesque. I have Rubenesque as well. And Rubenesque is more of like a goldy, kind of peachy, ambery color. Um, and that looks really good under a lot of browns and golds, but it didn't match with a lot of other colors. And um, I was looking for something really neutral. And what I was actually surprised about was, this is 5 grams, and I believe it was $14. You get a lot of product for $14. This will last a really long time. Um, I, I was previously using the Clinique... Um, I forget what they're called, but anyway, there's a Clinique kind of thing that's sort of like this. It's called Canvas. It's like cover-up for your eyes, and it's like way less. It's like one gram, and it's about the same price. So you get a lot more for your money with this than the Clinique one. Um, next, I got the Shy Girl Lipstick. It's a cream sheen, and I'm actually wearing it right now. It's like a um, kind of nude but it has a little hint of peach kind of underneath it, peachy coral underneath. Um, this is what it looks like in the tube, and I can go ahead and swatch this for you as well. That's the color. It's kind of like a faint nudie peach. I don't know if you can really tell or not. Um, and then the other one that I got is a really big popular one right now. It's the Ruben or not Rubenesque, um, the Ravishing Cream Sheen. And cr of all the MAC... Um, lipstick formulas. The cream sheen is my favorite. Okay, and then you can see there's the swatch right there. 
So the Shy Girl's on top, and then the Ravishing is underneath. And this is just a very wearable coral. Um, I was actually really surprised by how bright it looks, because um, everyone had said it was a really wearable coral, but it actually does show up quite coral. Um, it's not like a faint coral at all. It's a lot less um, bright than a lot of the other coral colors that they have, like the Vegas Volt and then also Dressmaker. Um, Vegas Volt was a little too orange for me. It was a little kind of crazy. It really popped. Um, the Rubenesque just kind of, or not the Rubenesque, I keep saying Rubenesque, I mean the Ravishing, um, just kind of suited my skin tone. It was a little more subtle, a little more wearable, and then it was also in the cream sheen formula, so I got the Shy Girl, and I also got the Ravishing. Um, and I compared the Ravishing to the Dressmaker, which is part of the um, limited edition collection. It's like Pet a Papier or something. I don't even know how to say it. And um, Dressmaker is a luster. And to me, to me, Ravishing and the Dressmaker looked pretty much the same. It's sort of like comparing Angel and Cream Cup. It's just, it's they're very similar, just the finish is slightly different. So if you like the cream sheen, um, kind of more of a creamy, moisturizing, long, more long wearing formula, um, I would definitely try the Ravishing. Um, it's a really good coral. And then the Shy Girl, what I'm wearing right now, is just really nice nude lip. It's just really good for every day. Not too offensive. Just blends right in. Um, so anyway, those are the things I got. I'm really excited to try out the minted, these new nail lacquers. I'm sure we'll be seeing me sporting the colors in some of my upcoming videos. But um, I probably won't be hauling too much in the future. I just graduated college and, um, you know, bills are starting to come in and, you know, don't have a ton of money coming in. Starting a new job in a week, so we'll see how that goes. But, um, yeah, so if I'm not hauling a lot, I'm going to have to start getting creative with some of the things that I already have. So, pardon me if I'm not hauling, but this is probably one of my last hauls that I'll be doing in a, for a while. Um, so, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, as always, feel free to leave a comment below. If you have any questions about any of these products you want to see, um, pictures or swatches or anything like that, just let me know, and I'd be happy to share. Have a good one, and thanks for watching. Bye, guys.